workout is going to be about abs and we're gonna need a ball to do it. So look around your house, whatever kind of ball you have, grab it. I have a basketball here, you can use soccer ball, volleyball, anything that's round and bounces, you can use. Make sure it's small enough though that you can move it in between your legs because you are gonna do an exercise that you have to do that for. So first exercise today is going to be a sit up, but we're gonna add the ball into it. So what we're gonna do is start by laying on our backs. We're gonna reach that ball over our head and we are going to tuck it into our chest as we reach up onto our sit bones. And then we are gonna pass it to the wall. So if you have a wall that you can pass it to, if you're outside, you can pass it to the garage, um, any stone wall, brick wall, anything like that. If you don't, just hold it at your chest. It's a fun little catching game too, if you have the ability to do so. So you'll pass it to the wall, catch it to your chest, and back down. You're gonna do 10 of these. Make sure we're reaching behind our heads each time. Rolling up to our hips and back down, rolling down nice and slow too. And last one. We're gonna go back down to the floor and we're gonna do what I call a single leg reach over with a twist. So what that looks like is you're actually gonna lay down with legs straightened out and then ball is gonna start over your head. But before we bring the ball back in, I'm gonna have you bend in one knee, doesn't matter which one it is, I'm gonna do the left one. And I'm gonna point that toe to the wall, okay? So we're not gonna flex our foot up. We're actually going to relax it, let it point to the wall. Then you have two choices with the opposite leg. If you feel like you can do it, you can lift that leg up, also pointing the toe to the wall and have it hover above the ground. If it's too hard, no worries. Just dig that heel into the ground and use that as stabilization. We're going to drive our lower back into the ground. So we're going to pull that belly button all the way down through the floor to start our exercise which again, ball starts over your head. I like to keep my head off the ground and my chin tucked into my chest slightly, so that relieves pressure from the neck and it also engages the abs a little bit more. Okay, so now my head's up, I'm engaged, toe is pointing to the wall, knee is bent in, other leg is either hovered or on the ground. And you are going to reach that ball towards your toe of the bent leg as far as you can, and then you're gonna twist towards that knee. So I have my left knee up. I'm gonna to twist towards the left, bring it back over my toe, and then come back down. So up, twist, back to center, and back down to the floor. You're gonna do 10 of these each side. I'm just gonna show you from the left side so you can see that twist. Make sure you're breathing, driving that lower back into the ground, keeping that chin tucked into your chest, protecting your neck. Good, and those abs should be shaking. Again, if you need to put that other leg on the floor to help stabilize you, you can. Nine, and last one. Great, exercise. We're gonna combine a bicycle exercise, which most people are familiar with, with a figure eight with the ball. So I'm gonna show you two variations. One is going to be a beginner, um, making sure you're enga engaging the core correctly. And then the second one will be a little bit harder, take a little bit more control, a little bit more ab engagement with it. So first one is just like how you would start the normal bicycle exercise, which in case you didn't know, is where we bring opposite elbow to opposite knee and switch out. So we're pedaling those legs. Set today with the figure eight, we're going to be moving the ball underneath our leg as we bring it up and switching. Okay, so same thing as the last exercise and really all of them is I want you to focus on driving that lower back into the floor, pulling that belly button all the way through to the floor and then also tucking that chin into your chest. So what you're gonna do, again, you can start both legs digging in. The next variation from there is to cover those legs. So you're gonna bring one leg up, Pass that ball underneath. Next one, pass that ball underneath to the outside of the leg that's lifted. 
So we're gonna do 10 each leg or 20 total, depending on how you wanna count. You notice my toes are pointing to the wall still. We're relaxing those hip flexors, letting our core do the work here. So this is the first variation. Again, if you need to keep one leg on the floor, you can drive that heel into the floor, stabilize yourself. The harder version is we're gonna sit all the way up onto our sit bones, lean back slightly, and we're gonna pass the ball between our legs, except now we're holding that bolt position. Same thing, 10 each leg. Okay, for our fourth exercise, we're gonna go into a Russian twist with the ball. So we're gonna start on our sit bones again. You can dig those heels into the floor. We're gonna lean back slightly, bringing that belly button in, making sure that back is slightly rounded. And then we are going to twist, press the ball down to the floor on the opposite hip. Twist, press down to the outside of the hip. And if you want to add a little extra to it, you're gonna twist, bring it to your chest, Pass it up in the air, catch it, put it down to the outside of your opposite hip, and repeat again. So keeping with the reps that we've been doing, we're gonna do 10 each side. Heels are in the ground on this one to start. If you want to make it a little bit harder, lift those legs up. Same thing, catch, throw. Try to keep your legs still. Try to keep that belly button sucked in and that chin tucked into your chest. Okay, and for our fifth and final exercise for the ab workout with a ball, we are going to do handoffs. And that is going to be another one where we lay flat on the floor, legs are straight out, ball is gonna start above our head again. And the same thing we've been focusing on, we really wanna drive that belly button down towards the floor, tucking those hips chin is tucked into our chest. And we're gonna do two different ways here, because this one can put a little pressure on your lower back. So if you start to feel it in your lower back, I'm gonna give you two different ways to do it so that you can modify. So the first way to do this, and this is the modification, is you're going to reach your legs up with bent knees as you bring the ball in. So they should meet into the middle of your body. So the knees should be right over hips, and you're gonna pass that ball off into your knees. And then as you do that, you're gonna bring those arms back down and shift those legs out as far as you feel comfortable. That's not putting pressure on your lower back. And then reach, same thing. Passing from knees back to hands, reaching overhead as you reach those legs and arms away from each other. If that feels easy or that you've mastered that and are ready to go to the harder version, you're just going to use it with your legs straight. So, legs straight out, ball overhead. Now we're reaching back into the middle, but we're passing it off to our feet. Legs are straight, going all the way down to the floor, back in, handing off. So same thing, even if you advance to this level, if you start to feel it in your lower back, just don't bring your legs all the way out, right? So just change that distance as you go. So if here's as far as you can go out where you don't feel that pressure, that's totally fine. Stay there until you can go all the way down and all the way up without feeling that pain. So we're gonna do 10 handoffs, which will actually be 20. So it'll be 10 with the ball in your hand, 10 with the ball on your knees. All right guys, good luck and have fun with it.